think in, I, I, I think that in every aspect of human endeavor, anyone who wants to be a leader, it's not just enough to have a view. You must be able to see what others don't see. See beyond the immediate, see beyond the ordinary. That's what I meant when I said gravitation. And then you must be ready to implement that vision, to do what it takes. That's the action part of it. It's of no use. You will never be a leader if you have a view of things can be better, but you don't do anything about it. So that's why I said leadership is two parts. You must have a vision that others do not see, and you must be able to implement that vision or promote it or advise those who are in a position to implement it. So that's what makes it true. I think personally, ethics and integrity are important for me. Maybe because I come from a generation where we were brought up to understand that a good name cannot be bought, and once it is lost, it cannot be retrieved, and that it's more important than financial rewards. I think this is something that we are losing, and that we need to retrieve our steps. I think that the Nigerian economy as a whole will benefit if the leaders of the economy, whether in the professional world or in the business world, emphasize the importance of ethical behavior and of personal integrity as leaders. The country will benefit, the economy will benefit, professions will benefit, there are no downsides. And that I think is one of the things I was trying to explain to the participants today, that in everything we do, at every point where we have to take a decision, we have to be conscious of the ethical implications of our actions, where those actions can stand scrutiny. I think I contested for the Vice Presidency of the Bar Association as a senior advocate, because for me, the rank of being a senior advocate is relevant to my clients. In terms of my ability to impact upon my profession or my professional association, it is irrelevant that I was a senior advocate, I was contesting for a vice presidency. It was irrelevant that I was a senior advocate contesting even for the presidency. I think that we need as leaders to step back from what I consider to be personal aggrandizement and personal ambition and focus more attention on what we can bring to the table, what we can impact upon the next generation, irrespective of where we are in our personal lives at any point in time. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the academy, by the professional ambience that one gets just walking into the premises, the caliber of the students that I was able to discuss with you today. I would like to see more women in the room, and I think I would also like the academy to reach out to professional organizations, especially the Bar Association. Legal profession.